feel so. Hi, everyone! It's Chris, <laughs> Zach, and John from Two Ton Gaming with special guest Kenny. Hey, everyone! Uh, today's podcast, which we're doing video, so if you're watching it on YouTube, you're to know. But if you go to twotongaming.com, you can listen to just the audio file, and you can download it from there as well. So you listen to it on your car ride to work or home or whatever. This week's topic is Pokemon! Ooh. I know you're asking, why are four grown ass men talking about Pokemon? We've lived fuck it. Because you. That's why. We knew Pokemon before you knew what life was like. The touch of a woman. So uh, while we're going <laughs> the through touch of a woman the things we're going to talk well. about, and it's not so much the video games, although I'm sure they'll get touched on. We've done a Pokemon game one before, so you can watch that podcast if you want. Here are the questions we asked each other. If you were in the Pokemon game and were a trainer, what would your six Pokemon be? And then you can have extras in the bank for quick swaps out sees. If you had a gym, what theme would it be? Or if you were a gym leader, what would your theme or list be? Yes. Uh, if Pokemon were in the real world, what Pokemon would you have? What area would you more than likely start in? What Pokemon would you start with if there was a professor and if there was not a professor? Yeah. And through this, we'll just use uh, Pokemon.com. We'll go scroll through, try to get to our Pokemon quickly, and get through this quick and fun, because this is what this is meant for. Just yes. for fun. Just for fun. Just, just for funsies. giggles. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll start off, I guess, with the... Let's start easy. The starter you would start with without a professor. And I picked... Oh, my goodness, this is... Oh, no. It's going to be down there, but it's Snubble. I can tell you that right off the bat. People, yeah. I'm sure, wouldn't want to start with a Psychic, or a, rather a Fairy-type Pokemon for whatever reason. I don't give a fuck. I love Snoobble. I think I like the moves he can learn. Did they get rid of his normal type? or? Yeah. Okay, so he's literally just Fairy now. Just literally Fairy. Yeah. But I used him not that long ago as just a Fairy-type, and I wrecked face with him, so... Yeah, hey, Fairy is much better, or it's, I mean, it's good. It's pretty powerful, kind of yeah. given what's happening in the games now. Mm -hmm. um, metagaming and playing competitively, people tend to have a Fairy type on their team now. Yeah, it's true. So that would be, uh, no, I started one side, this was all loaded, but then we crashed and I forgot to reload all the Pokemon, but he's coming up because it's this generation. Yes. So hopefully other people's are this or prior. <laughs> I uh, didn't talk about mine, because mine actually we kind of just passed. I'd choose Azrael or Meryl, which would also be kind of fairy. Um, there they are. Yes. Yeah. I kind of have a love for water and grass types. I very much feel that the rodent would be something I would kind of come in contact with pretty early. Um, and also like dog, kind of more common animals that people would have as pets would make sense if you are starting without a Pokemon professor. Mm -hmm. so there's mine. Snoobble. Adorable. You want one? Yeah. And then Meryl. Alright, John, what about you? If you didn't get to choose from a professor, what would be your first Pokemon? What is Smoochum? Is, is Smoochum is... No, 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 he's right there. Er. Hey, almost? Yes? No. No, no, no. No. Oh. We're, we're approaching Smoochum. Smoochum would it's, be Psychic Ice. Yeah, Psychic Ice. It's from the Gold Silver Generation. Right there. There we go. Boom. Sassy smooch him. Good choice. Turns uh, into Jinx, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I have. So it loses ice. Deep. No. No, no it's it. Jinx ice too. Yeah, yes. Jinx is ice. Yeah. There I have a go. deep, deep love for ice and oh, yeah. a deep, deep love for how adorable smooch is. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Smooch him. Act like she scroll, don't care. Scroll she down do. and get more. Than oh, she do. Yeah, she she do. hard pressed. She hard pressed and she mad about it. Zach, so what's yours? Mine's all the way down in the uh, Diamond and Pearl. It's uh, Axew. Oh, Axew. Oh. I was totally thinking about Axew. I would well, absolutely... Whenever I get close, you let me know. I will. But I absolutely love Axew and Haxorus, and I like that you can teach Haxorus False Swipe because that's, like, one of my main moves for catching all Pokemon ever. That's, that's legit. So I, I like that I can teach it to him, and it's also, like, a really powerful dragon type when he evolves all the way through and it'd be a good starter because you can use dragon type moves on like almost anything except fairy now <laughs> so your pokemon is nothing against ours correct <laughs> 
No. I mean, I'll um, get you with the cuteness. I don't even have Yeah, to. can I ask you a question about that, though? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> how would you get the Axio? Like, what would be the backstory there? Well, this, oh. oh, I would go mountain climbing. I buy it. Yeah. Buy right, anywhere near this thing? Um, it's, it's still. Yeah, no, keep There's going. It's still some Spirit Gym is still haunts my dreams. I it's, don't, um. Is that what Chatot turns into, or is Spirit Gym just by itself, right? It's a singular. What if, I mean, what if you did have, how many souls is it that Spirit Tomb is made of? I have no idea. It's a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of those could be a Chat Eight Tot more soul. than one. It's definitely more than one. It's definitely more than one. Yeah. More than a bread box. <laughs> is Spirit Tomb bigger than a bread box? I wonder. I would think so. I don't know. We'd have to check. I would hope not, but realistically, it's probably. It's the size of the Keystone and then some. Don't worry, we're almost there. I don't know. Don't mind us. I mean, as long as we're talking in between. Yeah. It's entertaining, right? And they're just staring at Pokemons. Yes. The Pokemon. All of them. There's so many Pokemon now. So while Chris looks for Axew, just to give visual proof, uh, what is our favorite starters given by the professors? Uh. I had to tie with the three of them because I'm greedy, but it's either Typeg, Bulbasaur, or Tortodile. Yeah. Um, it just depended on which area I started with, but like I said earlier, I'd probably just stick with one of these people, or try to get everyone to go together, so. Yeah. Be cool. There we go. Three. Woo! There's Axew. 610 Axew. Very cool. Um, for my professor granted starter, I'd have to go classic with Charmander. That's, I, it. that's I, mine. Like special Absolutely. place in my heart with Charmander. Absolutely. You too. No. No. This is Bulbasaur for me. No. Or oh. fucking Squirtle. Yeah, his there is we Squirtle. Go. Yeah, John's all Squirtle all the way, and then Squirtle. Chris is our Bulbasaur man. The question though, would you go Charizard X or Charizard Y? Um, like you were to Mega Evolve. I like Pokemon. X better. X is stronger, right? X is pretty cool. Uh, given, I like, I they like both the have dragon their, type. Um, yeah. They both have their strengths. Sorry, we're almost done with scrolling all the way down. Yeah, we just want to load them all up so that they're all ready to go for the rest of it. Um, we'll do starting city, though, because that won't have a picture. Oh, yeah. yeah, starting city, I would choose Kanto. Just because I'd want to start in the original and then go from there. I would, like I said, I'd stick with people, so I'd just go with Zach. So, which would make my decision Bulbasaur by default? I guess to have Charmander, I could start in Kanto, but also Kalos happened? Yeah. Because everyone picked first gen, that's fine. That's fair. No, I picked Johto. Yeah. I'm at first starting before one. Five Professor? Yeah. Oh, I. I like Totodile. Yeah. So, not Squirtle. If you had to pick between. Squirtle and Totodile. Well, if I were to choose to start in any region, it would be Johto, and of those, I would... I don't know, I like Cyndaquil, too. I do love Cyndaquil. Yep. But he's saying, like, of all of the starters, he could have Squirtle's the utmost. But yes. then, of all of the starting places, Johto is the utmost. Yes. What do you I get that. nickname your Pokemon? Do you go with, like, funny names? Straight names. Straight names, really? When I do nickname them, I go all over the place, but that's only when I'm, like, having a fun go at it. Okay. Like, it's usually on replays. Like, the first time through, everything just has the regular name. Because if I'm playing a new generation, I want to remember all the names of everything. Right. So I don't want to be, like, nicknaming everything and not... And then having to go to your Pokemon yeah. list every single time, you're like, oh, I have that one Pokemon. That's yeah, it's like, oh, go, Sparky. It's like, wait, what the hell are you called what again? What the hell is a Sparky? <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Oh, right, that's Pikachu, right. Pikachu, but yeah. different story. Yeah, I okay. like to give my Pokemon very dignified, but still... Adorable names. I um, used to nickname all my Pokemon my friends. Still, even if you like had like a uh, Spoink and you nicknamed it Penelope, and you'd be like, "What the adorable. fuck?" That's adorable. Then you like after a while, if you didn't know what it was called, you'd be like, "What the hell, Penelope? What the hell are you?" Christina Ricci, I love you. I know. <laughs> okay, so we should do the next thing, right? Uh, we'll go on to the six you'd have on you plus your backups. This one's gonna take a while just because I have to scroll through everyone's stuff. So this is if you were in the game. What would be your six that would get you all the way through? Uh, we allowed any Pokemon to be picked, so even if you picked Legendary, whatever. Uh, my first up would be Arcanine. 
Mm. He's right here. Yeah. Not only could I ride him. That would be pretty So is this in the Pokemon world that we're talking about? Yes. Followed up by ye old Snorlax. Of course. Which is down towards the bottom. Who I absolutely love. I had... In the game, I had an undefeated... There we go. He did, was it Mega Punch or something? Yeah. Just ruled people's faces. Yep. Uh, Snubble, because, you know, that's what I started with. Yeah. I love grumpy Pokemon. Yeah. I have a special love for grumpy Pokemon. Next up, it would be Houndoom. Aww. Aww. There he is. Nice. Which would give me a little bit of dark. Then I'd follow him up with a fighting Hariyama. I want to reach out, actually. I think he's this way. Yeah. Uh, I think he's oh, him. yeah, there we go. Well, that's what he starts off as, so he's actually a player. Makuhita. Evolves into Hariyama. So he must be above him. He won't be below. Yeah, he was on the next level. Yeah. Well, that's well, whatever you saw him. And then I finish off my main six with the Glaceon, just for added ice type move, because ice is pretty handy versus stuff. Yeah. yeah. And Glace. then in the bank. I would have a uh, Caracosta. Oh, the the turtle one. Yep. Oh, cool. I got the ground water. Thing. Yeah, it's a. It's way down it, there. It's a fossil one. Does yeah. everyone have a favorite fossil Pokemon? Ooh, that's a good one. Because I'm honestly trying to think. I, I want to say the leaf just to mess with everyone. Because he starts off as this little cute there fellow. Go. Tortuga. Yeah. Adorable. Turns into him. I think rock water is a f unique combination. Yeah. I'd have a Pelipper, which Fresh is basically a seagull. Adorable. It's water flying. Mm hmm. Uh, Chandelure. That's cool. Oh, yeah. What does Trubbish evolve into? Garbodor. Garbodor. Oh my gosh. Has it's anyone so cute. ever seen the art of Trubbish and Garbodor with larger pupils? They are adorable. Mm -hmm. And it kind of makes you actually want to have one. Escalibur would be on the list, which is a uh, ghost something? Are you talking about the. Yeah, uh, oh, he's right there. No, my bug oh, steel. There you go. Oh, it's Cavalier. Ex Excavalier. It's Cavalier. Excavalier. Because yeah. it's supposed to sound like Excalibur. I'd ah, and Cavalier. And uh, Mandibuzz. I've seen it in the Amanda Bynes. Amanda <laughs> <laughs> Buzz. It's the Amanda show now. I forget even what it is actually. Amanda Buzz is um, dark and flying. The buzzard. Yeah, it's oh, a, What is it? It's a, it's a vulture. Oh yeah. I don't that know one, why. That one, that one. Because it's I don't sassy. know why, but I just I saw it and went, you're coming on my spare team. I feel like I'll probably never use you but to fly it to the It would be really good friends with your snubble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, that would be a sweet. Too. That'd be a sweet ass ride. Yeah, that's a good question too. What would be your preferred Pokemon of flying? Yeah, whichever oh. one can carry my big ass. So for my team, I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna use the keyboard there because it's just a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna make a new tab and search. So. Obviously, my first choice is Starmie because he's super fast. God, you bastard. <laughs> and I absolutely love everything about Save Psychic. Save searches off. Ruh -ruh. Oh, well, I should turn it on. Oh, although. Because oh. we do not want some. I don't just want to get flagged. Yeah. Pokemon stuff coming up. Um, what is it? Rule 34? Yeah, Rule 34. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I, I, I love that it's psychic and water because it can also learn Thunderbolt oh, and yeah. has has a great special attack and is really fast. Just a wonder to have on a team. I love it always. Everyone loves a little bling. Yes. So this is your... On him team. Um, this is my Pokemon World team. And then okay. I would also have a Talonflame because I love that he's fire and also flying and... Has a really good physical attack. You were going for agility, bro. Yeah, also very fast. I can see that. Um, also, I love Espeon yes. very, very much. Also so very I, I would have to have an Espeon because I, I love Psychic type, and that's just what I'm about. Um, Look at the baby Espeon. That would have been. Then I, I had kind of an issue because I really love Pangoro. But I also yeah, Pangoro. 
because Pangoro's a monster, and a, a, a dark and fighting is a wonderful combination to have. And he can learn Crunch, and he can learn Sky Uppercut, and lots of other wonderful things. But that he can also learn False Swipe, which yeah. is wonderful. You do love that False I Swipe? I do love that move. But then also, I love Scrafty. And I, I don't know why I almost prefer him instead, but I, I want him on my team instead of Pangoro. <laughs> That's fine. It's your team. He's also a fighting and dark type, but he's just, I don't know, he's just cooler looking. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's whatever you like. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's four, right? Yeah. Yeah, so now I've got two more, and I'm probably going to go with uh, Breloom, because oh, yes. I absolutely want to have a good fighting type and a good grass type, because that they both come in super handy. And I'm one of those on my uh, Sapphire team right now. Yeah. Fantastic Pokemon. Really just a wonderful also Shroomish is so grumpy. And yes. I adore it. Absolutely. I also love Golurk. Um, and I, I would love to have him on my team. And uh, I need a ground type, so I'm more likely to choose him. I was also kind of thinking of Excadrill. Uh Jesus. There we go because it's also a ground type, but I wanted Ghost also. And as much as I love that, I also wanted Aegislash because Aegislash is awesome and a Ghost and Steel type. Super cool. So I, I was kind of on the fence between all these, but I think I landed on Golurk for the final slot because I wanted ground because it's the only thing that's effective against electricity. So you kind of need to have it. And... Then, I mean, some of these other ones I would obviously have in my box. I would also kind of want a Greninja in my box. That's cool. Um, and, I don't know, the, like, some of the rest of these aren't really that important. But I, I touched all of the big ones. <laughs> so that that's me. Ugh. Okay, it can be one of your guys' turn now. Very cool. John, <laughs> you or me, because we gotta go. Go for it. Okay. Um, I really like the Yahoo search idea. Also, if you look I'll, I'll do this. kind of to the, oh, cool teamwork. Yeah. If you look at the m minimalist Pokemon backgrounds right there, those are really cool. I think they have done a lot of them so far. Yes. Um, can't remember the artist. They're fantastic though. Oh yeah. Um, let's kind of go through. We did talk about Breloom and how much I love grumpy Pokemon. So Shroomish Breloom does make a lot of sense. Yep. Um, I. Anyone that knows me will kind of look at my Pokemon team, think it makes sense, but there's going to be a lot of fighting type in this, which I never really associate myself with. Um, just happens that a lot of my favorite Pokemon, look at Grumpy Shroomish looking at Breloom, um, a lot of my favorite Pokemon kind of end up having fighting type. Um, but also, oh my gosh, we might have to break for ice cream, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. No, kidding. Um, but kind of going through this idea as well, Chespin, Chespin's final evolution is also fighting as well as grass. Um, I think it's just not, is it's a final evolution? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And kind of awesome. Also like another really cute Pokemon. I'm all for that. But then fucking badass. Is it Spike Shield that it learns? Kind of very cool move. I do like to play defensively. A lot of times, um, and it's also a knight kind of type character, which I'm very much into. Um, but also Roserade. Anyone that knows me knows that Roserade would probably be my folk Pokemon. I would do whatever it took to get one. Oh my god, Roserade with wings, what? <laughs> um, kind of all about that. I love Pokemon fan art. Um, yeah. It is a rose Pokemon, huge on that. Shiny Roserade is purple and black. Adore it. Um, let's jump down to Gardevoir, of course. I'm really glad we have Safe Search on now. <laughs> um, love Gardevoir. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It is now very Psychic type. Pretty cool. It has its Mega Evolution. Um, anyone who's ever used any of the um, cheats to make a Pokemon, I have done some pretty awesome stuff with Gardevoir to make a Gardevoir that knows Spore and Dream Eater, and that was a lot of fun. Obviously, I don't play with that. Um, outside of like my own pleasure at like slamming NPC faces. Um, Blaziken also adore kind of jumping back into the fighting type. 
Um, another kind of really aesthetically pleasing thing for me is to fight with Blaziken, more of the uh, middlemost Pokemon art. Um, fighting with Blaziken and Gardevoir as a double battle, I think they're awesome. I have a dance background and I like to imagine that they're dancing when they fight um, Steven Universe anyone. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I also adore Ampharos. Love, love, love. If, as you can see, like a lot of these Pokemon start out adorable oh and end up pretty badass. I love Ampharos. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it's the stubby arms. <laughs> I, that probably plays a lot to it. I've not really played with its Mega Evolution. Um, not the coolest looking thing, but hey, Electric oh, but Dragon? What? That's cool. Yeah. Um, and then Luxray, we kind of threw around. When I had a Luxray on my team, I thought it was so cool. Um, I think it has the ability Intimidate, which is pretty fun to have. Um, and then I feel like there's pretty good coverage with the moves it learns. Probably totally wrong, maybe we'll get slammed for saying that. I don't care, I love Luxray. And Zoroark, just to be super indulgent, um, I really like it too. You can kind of see, again, like the aesthetics I like with my Pokemon. I feel like it's a very elegant looking Pokemon as well. Um, really powerful looking, and then there's little Zora. Adorbs. Um, and then I feel like I would have a Milotic. Um, again, very much aesthetically oriented. It just makes a lot of sense. Woo! And because of the way you can catch Milotic in, is it Alpha Sapphire Mega Ruby? There we go. Um, I have a shiny Milotic, and I'm so happy with it, and um, it's pretty cool. And then above all, we're kind of talking about and throwing around Pokemon we'd have in our box. I would have to have an Audino at some point. I love Audino. The shiny is purple. Look how adorable this is. I used to love Chansey. That one has then, a gun. Uh, it, that one does have a gun. You don't want to mess with Audino. Audino will mess you up. And also now it has its Mega Evolution that I believe is normal fairy or is it pure fairy? Uh, I don't know. But again, I kind of really like the fairy Pokemon. Um, what? Look at you. You're so cool. Is that really what it looks like? That's yeah. crazy. I, mm -hmm. I love that. But I would, um, I really love Audino, is the point of that. So, John, <laughs> it's your point. turn. I think that if I lived in the Pokemon world, I would be a headmaster of a performing arts school where kids went to school with their Pokemon to learn. How to be a performer. So you wouldn't be a Pokemon trainer. This is. I would no. I would be a like I would be a teacher. Okay. Cool. On how to be a coordinator. Okay. Okay. So I would work at a um, Pokemon art school, and I chose six Pokemon that I would have at my school. Um, Jinx would come from the Smoochum I'd had my whole life. And it's now evolved into a Jinx Racist. and a performer. Oh, it's it's lovely. I love everything about Jinx. She's so risque. She's so lovely. <laughs> so Jinx would be my like uh, companion, pretty much. And Blissey would be my backstage director. She'd make sure there were no shenanigans amongst. She'd be like the stage manager. Yeah. I love it. Blissey would get stuff done. Yes. <laughs> Should do all the arts and crafts. I totally want to do that minimalist Blissey painting. I've already done a minimalist Jigglypuff off. painting. I totally want to do that one. Uh, so this she'd one. be backstage. And then I'd have Meloetta as <laughs> my, um, yeah, I love that. Meloetta would be my, like, starlet. Work. I love that she has. And then a she could get all tough and shit by going in fighting mode if she needed Dance to. Mode. Pirouette form. <laughs> That's what she looks like when she gets criticized. <laughs> Let me just roll my hair up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw my hair up, and we're gonna do this. And then uh, Mr. Mime would be the acting instructor. My, 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 my. Oh, not the second one. <laughs> I feel like the second one has its merits. <laughs> it has its merits not in the school. Oh, my goodness. 
Look at and this hopefully cute guy. you would have Look a whole bunch guy. of Mime Junior babies. You are precious. <laughs> Mr. Mime is going to father a lot of Mime Juniors. And then I uh, would have oh Smeargle, the art professor. Set design. It's so cute. I love Smeargle. And Shiny has pink tail. Does it really? I think so. Adorable. Wonderful. Yeah. And then my uh, last one would be Hitmontop. Ah. I loved Hitmontop when I when it came out. I love a lot of the second generation just in general. What would Hitmontop's area study be? Dancing. Dancing. There we go. Was That's a B boy. Cool. Yeah. 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 Break I dancing. see him as a Rastafarian. <laughs> Head dancing savant. Yeah, I can so, see that. Little known fact, so you can kind of see in some of the fan art, um, because it's not really clear in the Pokemon official art. The little like thing that looks like a third leg is actually Hitmontop's tail, where the other two Mon Darchan, Hitmonchan, it is, yeah, it's his tail. Lead, all the other Hitmon Pokemon do not have tails. Yeah, but in the original, people were like, "Does he have three legs? Is that his penis?" Hmm. We are confused. Yeah, it's his penis. Yeah. Whatever, Pokemon man. breeding is a mysterious thing. Yeah. Except with him on top. But yeah, he'd be <laughs> exactly like... Exactly what goes on there. He'd be a Rasta dancer. Teaching all the kitties how to dance and That's jump. cool. So that would be my in Pokemon world. Hmm. Alright, so if Pokemon were real, what ones would you have... In your life. In your life. And I picked mine based on I'm an artist... Kinda. Slash, I just like them. So, uh, Pangoro, because I do a lot of heavy lifting, and it'd be nice to have... Kind of a buddy to get the other side of heavy things. Yeah. I see that. And I feel like his nails will pretty much cut through any wood, so wood carvings would yes. be much either. I'm starting to really like Pangoro. <laughs> uh, is it Treviant? Trevion? Trevenant. Trevenant. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's a tree revenant. Trevenant. Which would also be nice for... Ooh, spooky. Oh. I forgot the T, or the R. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Also for heavy lifting, plus he's made of wood, maybe he can drop some my way out. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Crunkledor? Conkledor? What? See, Conkledor. Yeah. 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 Because, I kinda once like again, so far, he can girl. smash beams with his hands, and I do a lot of 3D art based with metal, so... I yeah. think he'd be real fucking handy. Yeah. Ursa Ring? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love Ursa Ring. Evolution of Teddy Ursa. Yeah. Also to help with the wood carving aspect. A Smeagol or Smeargle, whatever the fuck his stupid name is. As a group, we're loving, loving on Smeargle. Yes, Smeargle. Is it Grumpink? Yes. Yeah. Smeargle Pride. Oh, I think happy. I think he'd be artistically inclined. He looks like he knows a little something, something. And he's a psych and he's psychic type, so he could do a lot of help with everything. Yes. And then lastly, I have Seismitoad. Yeah. Because he's uh, titties. Yeah. Seismitoad, I feel like, is what Wooper wanted to be. And I feel like he could really do a finger painting justice. Yeah, yeah, look at the fingers. You can get some detail with that. So I this was solely based. I wanted to go electronic arts, but I could see that on your wall. I could do that. I, I want to do that. Again, <laughs> the Pokemon <laughs> minimalist art is great. Let's all do that tonight. And uh, we could. We have enough things. Uh, so yeah, that'd be my team. Obviously, I, I had one too many. I'd probably just sit one of the strong guys out and switch all the strong guys around so they're not always just yeah. lifting heavy shit for me. Mm hmm. All right. So my real life team, I also had the idea of lifting heavy stuff. It would be an important thing. So I wanted a psychic type. <laughs> Routes get stuff done. Absolutely, and he's adorable. He is adorable. You would get, you would get all the poon with the well, Routes, man. I don't need it anymore, but I, yeah, I mean, yeah. For but sure. he'd be able to play with the baby. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that would be adorbs. Yeah, right. Routes okay. as your babysitter. Routes would be really good. Routes and Ditto. That's and it can and that's you have all the routes you wish. Yeah. 
So it, Ditto made your list? Yeah, Ditto made my real Ditto list. Ditto was on my list. Was gonna claim Ditto. My, my real life list. Yeah, Ditto's on my real life list. Yeah. I feel like I just played Do you know Ditto, how much like, freaking money you'd putty. make with a Ditto? It would be awesome to have a Ditto. Either, hopefully Ditto's were not like owned by the government. Yeah. I Some also... Secret underground Ditto lab. You make so much money. I also have always wanted a fox. Aww. Yes, I like, thought about that as well. Like, always and forever, so I... What literally... does the Vulpix Oh, say? Kirby. Please oh, please. Kirby Vulpix! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Snuck that guy in there. Can't be! Yeah. One of uh, these things is not like the others. One of these things so, is so much better. Also, for just, like, electronics and stuff, oh. I thought it would be really handy to have an electric type, but Pikachu is so trite and overused that I thought <gasps> Dedenne would be cooler. So, I thought he would be real handy to have around for, like, all kinds of random electrical shit. Who knows? Also Charge this for me, but... As a group, we call yeah. types. And, uh... Lastly, just in case I ever decide to, like, garden or whatever, and just, like, for general outdoorsy stuff, I really uh, think a Bulbasaur would be awesome. I mean, like, real life, it would be so sick to have, uh, with, uh, like, the vines and the razor leaf and everything. Like, he's a very versatile Pokemon. They really he could keep your yard. Spotless. Yeah. It would be perfect. Okay. And he's a perfect size as a Bulbasaur. I know. He's You're like the... getting an Eversound, sir. Yeah. So that, that's, oh, and then I get one more. I was thinking about water types, and mostly ones that I'd be able to swim with, and I, I don't know, I kind of, I know it's so cliche, but I kind of want a Lapras. Oh, yes. but it's so cool. Just because then I could, like, I go out anywhere, and... It's kind of like a boat. It would protect me. Yes, exactly. Is that a Minecraft Lapras? That's cool. Yeah, it's that's a cool. self-protecting boat for people like me who don't know how to swim. Yeah, and it would love me. Uh, I don't have to worry. Yeah, that's the thing. You may want Lapras, but Lapras also wants you. Yeah. So that that's my that's my six. My Very home cool. my home team. So. Okay, it looks like it's my turn now. Um, for this question, I kind of divided up my life into like nice bite sized chunks. I'm still a relatively young person. Um, so kind of thinking about what Pokemon would I have acquired along my life. Um, given like who I was then. Um, maybe Pokemon that my family might have given me, kind of things like that. Um, I very much see my like very first Pokemon again being as Azuril. Ah. Um, so adorable. It's a little polka dot. Again, fairy type, very normal here, evolving eventually into the water fairy Azmural. Um, I believe, is it huge power or great power that this line gets? It's, I believe for a while it was their signature power love it also again it's a rabbit i really like that fan art that makes it look more like a rabbit wow that's great um does this look like the face of mercy i have <laughs> destroyed with an asmoral um also drowning one of my biggest fears i feel like with an asmoral around i don't have to worry about that mm -hmm. mentioned kind of earlier like pokemon for like gardening that's huge for me um so that would be pretty handy kind of going through that um, into that next thing. I really feel like I'd have a Bellsprout. Yeah. It makes sense. I was like going through all these beautiful, elegant, like grass type Pokemon, and I'm like, no, it would be Bellsprout. Flur. It's kind mm -hmm. of like young, young me, maybe it like to be elementary, middle school would have a Bellsprout. You're weeping bell. <laughs> so, uh, right? It would be a uh, Victory Bell, and I kind of adore Victory Bell. Victory Bell is your 30s. When you uh, I, the world. I get that. I would have a weeping bell right now. Um, and then in high school, I kind of developed into a little bit of an emo kid, kind of riding that wave. And so I'd probably go like Woobat, Zubat, Noibat, um, most likely Woobat, if we're going to be really honest. Because look how adorable. <laughs> that is cute. It kind of gives me my like my emo <laughs> edge. Mm -hmm. But you could listen to Fall Out Boy with your Woobat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> and then throughout all of this, I have been a dancer. Um, I think Curlia, like yeah. the entire Ralph's line is based on dancers and the idea of dance, especially this Pokemon. Um, I became a teacher for a while, dance instructor. I very much think... <laughs> like they're Kirlia. a muscular one. Oh, buff. <laughs> if anyone has ever lived a dancer, yes. you do get pretty buff. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm going to buy it. Um, but I very much see this Pokemon as, like, my, like, assistant in class, and, like, I could dance with my Curlia. 
and that would be pretty great. Um, kind of going on from there, I worked for a really wonderful cosmetics company for a while. Um, kind of naturally based. I think Shroomish would be, again, I love Shroomish, would make sense there. Um, kind of the hippie vibe that that company had. I feel like my Shroomish could come to work with me, get stuff done, maybe evolve into a Breloom, because again, I love my Breloom. But I also see, like, that point in my life, having the auto know then, maybe even having, oh my god! Oh, and it's a gif! <laughs> Weird. I'm glad you say gif. Uh, it, it's, it is gif. Yeah, huh? Some people say gif, and it bothers the, me. Oh, yeah, the creator. Because gif is peanut butter. Because that yeah, sounds delicious. It's peanut butter. I kind of <laughs> love the top hat, too. Look at just Shroomish in general. What is in your hat, Shroomish? What is that? I don't know, he's a little friend. He's a little friend. Oh. 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 No. Oh, um, look at the little shroomish dress. Yes. It's I, like a poncho. I next art project, shroomish poncho. Um, yeah. but then kind of needing help with like who would my Pokemon be now? I was like, I need a fire type given some things like that have happened and I need something that would like I'd find maybe in like a woodland area. Um, Numel. And when Numel was mentioned, I sighed because I could not argue with me having a Numel now. Look at Numel. Look at the scarf. Look at this. That that's my Numel right there. <laughs> oh look! Look at the little fire. It's kind of adorable. It kind of gives me my burner vibe, and it's it's great. It's adorable. It's adorable. And derpy at the same time. I feel like that's you know that all my Pokemon Pokemon sweet. Be. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah. I look at the wasn't eyes. gonna go he there, keeps it but. Inside him. We're there now. Like a teapot. Ooh. No, you know who does, though, is Torkoal. Who there is, we dude, go. He's blowing smoke everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just like, Some. whatever, man. <laughs> Torkoal, don't get no. Yeah. Very cool. John, you are up. I should have a Torkoal, man. I think it'll keep me warm in the winter. Yeah, well, the thing is like a furnace. Yeah. Uh... I think you'd be obnoxiously hot to sleep even in the same room with one. I know. <laughs> yeah. He's um, an outside Pokemon. <laughs> go eat the grass. If Pokemon lived in the real world, I would just have a bunch of sensical Pokemon. You know. Sensical. Like, like cats. And more cats. Okay, so what are they? Lipard, to start. <laughs> L-I-E-P-A-R-D. Leopard. Lipard? Yeah, sure. If we mispronounce any Pokemon, comment below on the proper <laughs> phonetic pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, please. Not do that, because I'm not going to read them. <laughs> Good luck. Um, and then Esper, because it's creepy looking. Oh, that's so cute. It like it might what? possess your soul. Hipster Esper. That yep. might be my favorite thing now. All glory to the Hypno Esper. And then a Skitty. Oh my gosh. Because the grumpy Skitty really got me going earlier. Oh my gosh. I want to see what happens when I type in grumpy Skitty. Please be more. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love tartar sauce. Cat makes more money than all of us. I know. Skitty. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at all this kitty. And then there's one with Del Caddy. There's one with Kirby. Where? To the left. <gasps> oh. We might just have to do an entire. Kirby's time everywhere today, Kirby man. Pokemon. Yeah. And then I would have a hound doer. Yeah, you would. Yeah. To protect the home front, but also still be adorable. We are kind of coming across some favorite Pokemon that we all share. I would have a Squirtle, always of and forever, because Squirtle really? say you love, love me forever. Not yes, the very first Squirtle is my Squirtle. Sassy. It is the show Squirtle. You know, the Squirtle that was way better than Charmander. Fuck, punk Charmander. Excuse you. Punk Charmander. Excuse you. He's a Charizard, Charizard now, bitch. You best recognize. Yeah. <laughs> Squirtle would still kick his ass. Yeah. Best recognize. And then, I don't know how no one... I I see myself as an entrepreneur in the Pokemon world, so I would have an Eevee and a Ditto. Ah. So, you'd have an Eevee mill. I would be a Pokemon breeder. 
I would breed Pokemon for people if they wanted me to. Put on the Marvin Gaye. Lower the Ditto! <laughs> I've been really Is that it? Oh, yeah. Alright, and lastly, if we were a gym leader, what would your Pokemon be, or theme, or whatever? Uh, mine is all Arctic. I love the cold. I love being in the cold. So, these are the Pokemon you would more than likely see. <laughs> Arctic. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, polar bears. These are Pokemon you'd most likely see in the gym. Uh, a Dugong. I love Dugong. And if I ever fall in, he can just be like, Sup, bro, I got you. Yeah. Got you. Gong, 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 gong. Uh, a wall ring? Yeah. Yeah. Wall ring. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wall ring. Because he's got kind of one after the other. Of course. And he looks like a he'll badass. do tricks for awesomeness. Yeah. I love that weird beard that he's got going on. Yeah, there. I dig him. I dig everything about him. Yeah. Water ice. Uh, just the right amount of melody. Empoleon? Yeah, Empoleon. Empoleon. Because if you're going to have an ice gym, you might as well fuck a penguin. Of course. I know he's not ice tight, but whatever. Yeah. yeah nice He's water snow. steel. Yeah, or water steel. Obama snow? Obama snow? Oh yeah, Obama snow. Who would uh give me some Thanks, grass Obama as well snow. as ice? Yeah, grass and ice. I feel like that would be a good switch up. Oh that's cool. And Fine the realistic right. drawing is pretty cool of it. Yeah, this one down here. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's real nice. I like that. That's cool. Oh my gosh, look at that mime. He <laughs> Oh what else? A glacion? You gotta, you gotta throw an Eevee in the mix in there every now and again. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, totally. I've always really liked Glaceon, actually. Yeah? It's pretty cool. I used to have Glaceon hair. Yeah. A, I have no idea what this is. Read it. Frostlass? Frostlass. Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a water, or er, sorry, ice ghost. Yeah, there ice ghost. Go. That's why I put it on the team. I was like, I'm definitely getting a ghost type in this mother. Yeah, ice she ghost is like awesome. She looks like she's Yodum. Yeah, absolutely. She learns Destiny Bond. Yes. Um, and can only be a female. Bear Tick? Yes. Bear Tick! I need me a polar bear all up in the mix. And his pre evolution is one of the most fucking adorable things in the Cub world. Cub Chew, yeah. Cub oh, Chew is yeah, adorable. Yeah, there would definitely be a couple of those chilling about. Just for funsies. Oh, we're definitely looking for funsies. Cause, Come and pet the Cub Chew. Because look at how adorable it is. So stinking cute. Uh <clears throat> And then, uh, Avalog? Avalog. Yeah. Avalog. No. Excuse Avalog. me, my own handwriting sucks ass. Yeah, it's alright, I know what you mean. I feel like you would... He would just be like, he would in be the, the theme, gem. Arctic, like, to get to me, you'd have to climb a frozen fucking mountain. Yeah. With just trainers along the way. <coughs> I really like that. Dog. This one here just reminds me of Pride Rock from Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> The circle of life. Everything the light touches. Alright, Zach. Uh, that's my oh man. That's my gym, Arctic themed. That's cool. Alright. Well, my gym would be dark and psychic. Or at least that's what I thought it would be. Love upon it. upon further contemplation. So the first thing that I figured that I would start out with is uh, my Starmie, because I love Starmie, and because naturally that's what I would have. Star me, star you, star saw. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So, excellent water psychic type and good thing to start out the mix. Then I wanted to switch it up and do a high dragon because he's a dark dragon type and just a general badass. That's cool. I'm getting very, like, a cold, very, like, specific color scheme so far and I'm really liking it. Alright. Number three is gonna go back to psychic. I'm gonna have an SBN. Yeah. And then it's, uh,. Ge genuinely awesome psychic type. I love this guy. He's c contemplative. Looks like he could fuck your shit up, you know? <laughs> just with that glowing gem on his forehead, just staring at you, you know? So, um, yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to do a Bisharp. Very cool. Uh, because I, I just, I genuinely like his style, and I wanted a steel type, because it's, you know. Steel bug. Yeah. No, it's steel uh, dark. it's steel dark. Steel dark. Yeah, because dark psychic. Come on, man. Hey. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so he's number four. Um, number five, I needed a num another psychic, so I wanted a Metagross because he's a badass. Yeah. Psychic steel weighs a fucking ton, 
and his mega form, he starts floating, and all of his arms are focused on you now at that point. And you're going to have to deal with that. Exactly. And no one wants to deal with a hovering metal death <laughs> machine. I don't know how to handle this. Yeah. And, and then my final one, I <laughs> oh, had to do Malamar because he is dark and psychic. So he would be my final six Pokemon. I really liked Malamar. I used one for quite a while in I'm the game. And you have to flip the game upside down to get it to evolve. Oh, I know, wow. it's great. That was really cool. Yeah, that was I neat. really want to see Malamar concept. walk on those legs. Yeah, I know, right? Are they like... I just assume he kind of hovers, and then when he stops, he that. just balances. Yeah. But I feel like that's a very well-rounded back and forth dark I really and psychic. Like I mean, yeah. like, it's a, it's a nice gem. I, I would definitely, I would rock that shit. How would they get to you? Like a maze. Oh yeah, it would probably be like a hedge maze. Would be like pitch dark. That's cool. Yeah, with like little lan lanterns and strategic corners, you know. Be a lot of fun. So we're only going with six. I, I mean, went with. I said not. Pokemon you would see at my gym. I did, yeah. I did six. Well, there. I mean, obviously, uh, other Pokemon you'd see at my gym would be. Um, I had Gengar as one of my potential team Pokemon originally, because I wanted to use Trick Room and Dream Eater and a bunch of stuff. That I, would be really fun. Yeah, so I was thinking about him. Also, I like Dusk Noir uh, and all of those special ghost types, like uh, Banette. I like Banette, too. But he's just a ghost type. Dusk Noir is actually a dark type. But, um, also the other one I almost used was Trevenant. Eek. Solid Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like that would be my dark psychic gym. <laughs> be awesome. I would love that. That'd be cool because they'd be walking around the maze. You'd never even know it. Exactly. That would be great. They could like alter the maze. Yeah. And, like just really, really mess it up for you. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's nice. And maybe even a pseudo Udo in there. Yeah. Just to <laughs> mess with you. Yeah, just to mess with you. Did you bring your watering pail? Yeah. You better. All right, and Can that Ooh, is my turn. all you, man. Very cool. So for my gym, I've actually, this is a question I love. I have thought about this a lot, and I ask this question a lot of people. Um, and so my gym would very much be themed kind of towards the idea of the Mad Tea Party with um, Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but kind of pulling from my stuff before, I really like this, again, idea of like the lanterns and the hedge stuff, but maybe a similar idea, but mine would go a little bit more like grass type garden party kind of idea. So bringing in that Roserade again, um, I love Roserade, think it very much fit the theme and the kind of aesthetic that I'm after with this. Um, going over to Saucebook, which we have not talked about, thank you for shiny Roserade. Woo! Boom! Oh yeah. Those roses is poison. Yeah, black and purple, that's nice. It's real cool. And sauce book, which we haven't talked about. Um very awesome Pokemon. The four forms that it gets based on the seasons, very cool. Not sure what form I would keep my sauce book in. Maybe I just let it kinda go, do its thing. Um ball, ball, fall. Yeah. The fall one is cool. I like the spring because it has flowers and fit my theme. Um <laughs> And then kind of to throw a wrench in this, but kind of give the like madness and spookiness kind of idea, a crowbat. Oh, Sorry. that's cool. No, I, I love Saucebug. I, um, for the Pokemon no, profile wait. pick, December, I did a Saucebug this previous year. Really? Yeah, that's cool. it was really cool. I am trying to remember the artist. Hmm. And then Crobat. Um, why Crobat, you ask? Is Shiny Crobat really pink? Yeah, it's like lighter. I'll check. And then it does have like the green. It's, I think, the opposite of. Yeah? Sweet. Pink with green wings. Because I think the um, color scheme from Crobat is an inversion of the color scheme of Golbat. Where like its wing color becomes body color, and its body color becomes its wing color. Please don't be wrong. Yay! Cool. Um, but what is the common theme? What's tying Crobat into this? All my Pokemon would know Drain moves. Um, Roserade and Crobat would know Mega Drain or Giga Drain. Mm -hmm. um, and then Saucebuck's um, signature move, Horn Leech, would be pretty cool. And then, of course, other Pokemon that you'd find in my gym, anything that kind of goes along these themes of, like, garden, grass-type, kind of spooky, um, and more like the elegance, 
even like a Gallade with Leaf Blade could fit in um, Gardevoir with its magical leaf. Um, give me Lee Vanny, give me Whimsicott, because, you know, I just gotta. Um, we'd probably have some Shroomish around. And any other like Pokemon that could probably go into these like Alice in Wonderland ideas too. What about your team, John, or your gym? Um, I pretty much have always kind of gravitated towards the water Pokemon <laughs> in the game. So water. <laughs> <laughs> what does water look yeah. like? I I didn't kind of think curious. about it super oh. into it. No, I just love it. Him take me underwater. water. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. I would, of course, have my Blastoise to start out with. Yeesh! Okay, and get you the right picture, knows. though. Yeah. Mega Realistic Blastoise. Blastoise is always cool looking. I love that. That Blastoise. was really cool. Yeah. Um, then I'd have my Lapras with a nice addition of ice to my team. It's a little slow. He doesn't want to look at Lapras all the time, forever and always. But Lapras wants to look at you all the time, always, forever. And then I'd have a Starmie yeah, like or Zach or. has mentioned a bunch of times, because Starmie is legitimately a badass. He is. He's so good. You Do win. you think... Um, you, you can't even... You can't even get around that. What is Froki's final evolution? Uh, Greninja. Greninja. Yeah, do you think Greninja would use Starmie as its ninja stars? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I would like to it say could. yes. That, that would be something to see. I would enjoy that. And then a Pokemon I've always really, 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 really enjoyed since it came out, Politoed. Mmm. Ooh, you're nailing it. Ooh, Politoes. Politoes. That is adorable. Oh, uh, I want I want him as a tattoo. Boop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is I nice. love my head. Look at my groin. Oh. Derp -de -derp. Okay. You had to make it weird, John. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Um, Look, it's my testes. <laughs> oh, God. We are going to get flagged. It's shiny, it's purple and pink. Oh, Aww. that's cute. Or blue and pink, really. Yeah. Adorable. I mean... Uh, Omastar. Mm. Because my stars and I could have him, like, rain, do a rock slide into the pool so that my Pokemon could, like, jump along the rocks. Yeah. That'd be badass. And then a Waylord. Oh, yeah. Your gym would be huge. Yes. Yes, it it's would It's gotta be. be. I would have it from all the profits of my Eevee Monopoly. Oh, okay. Your Eevee mill. <laughs> yes, I like the simplistic payment. Are you kidding? His gym's just gonna be in the ocean. <laughs> His gym is the ocean. <laughs> yes. Yes, Waylord. Oh, that's a fun project. And then Octillery. Oh, yeah. For Flare, of course. For Flare. And more scary temples. Yes. Mostly that second octillery on the left. The majestic looking one. Oh no. This one? Left. Uh, left. Uh, oh, the yes. bubbles! Oh. He's majestic. Look at him. That's oh. actually kind of cute. That's very nice. Still afraid of it. And then Slowking, because all knowingness. Yeah. Slowking in the Pokemon movie was. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, get he snowed on. He's pimp. like, I know what's up. P I M B. I'm a pimp. Yeah, you are, Slow King. And finally, Jellicent. Yes. Because I really like I Jellicent. Can use pants. Ah! Say no to pants, Slow King. Down with pants. Jellicent. Uh, Would you want a pink one or a blue one? Oh my god, I have to have a blue one. Coin. I would just search for my pink one. Mm. I'd help my Jellicent search for its mate. Aww. And a ditto. <laughs> that you already have. Ready to go. Yes. Yeah. I mean, also part of my Pokemon mail. <laughs> I like how I've mind fucked my like. Jellicent into thinking the ditto is a, is a willing participant. Yeah. All right, guys. That's <laughs> that's that's all we got. That's, that's our that's podcast that's about uh, no, our right, personal picks on Pokemon. Uh, any questions or comments? Leave them down below. If you like the video at any point, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on any social media: Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. Twitter, 
All that jazz. We're on all of them. Or go to twotonegaming.com. Find, find all, all of them. our stuff on there. Twotonegaming.com. Woo! Alright. There it is. Thanks for my first video with you guys. If anyone has any suggestions and additions to our Pokemon teams, let us know. If you want us to let you into our Pokemon League, and you have ideas for what your gym would be, let us know too. Hmm. <sighs> I'm unplugged. You're going to have to go over there and stuff. Oh. Or I can plug you back in. Sure. Ta -ta. Thanks, guys. We'll see you uh, next week with a brand new podcast on something different. Hopefully. See you later. Bye, Felicia. Bye.